In this Kraken tutorial for beginners, I'm going to show you how to buy crypto on Kraken. And in this Kraken tutorial, I'll show you how to use the Kraken website and how to deposit on Kraken and also give you a general overview of the Kraken site going over all the important features. And while I have put the timestamps in the description below, I recommend you stick around until the end as there's lots of important info. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is sign up if you don't already have an account. If you do, then you can just sign in and skip this step. So if you don't have already have an account, then I actually have an affiliate link in the description below, which if you sign up using it, then I will get a kickback and it doesn't cost you anything extra, but it massively helps support this channel. But if you don't want to use that link, then that's fine also. So just go to the Kraken website and press sign up. Now you're going to have to supply lots of basic information like your email, a username, password, and your country of residence. And when you're creating your account, you will need to supply KYC information which is pretty common across most crypto exchanges nowadays. KYC is know your customer and is to prove you are not a criminal. And so when verifying your account, you'll have to supply your address and upload a photo of your ID and take a selfie. Now, once you're signed up, you should see a screen that looks something like this. Now, I'm going to record this video based around the new Kraken platform, which is this one you can see here. But there is an older version of Kraken, which you can get to here by pressing Kraken Classic. And again, you can flip back by pressing on Kraken New. But I presume Kraken is going to flip over to this new view at some point in the future. So that's why I'm doing the demo on this one. So there are two ways you can buy crypto on Kraken either using a bank card or with cash that you've deposited on the platform. Buying crypto with cards directly tends to be more expensive on most platforms, but is obviously the easier of the two. So let's start with buying crypto on a card. To do this, you would click on buy crypto in the top right or the buy button on the home screen. Also, quite often on the site, buttons will take you to the same places. So firstly, you want to pick your crypto currency you want to purchase. So I'm going to say Bitcoin. Then very simply, you would key in the amount. So I'm going to key in 10 or alternatively, you can press one of the monetary amounts here. Or if you know how much specific crypto you want, you can also key that here. Then it says it's going to be approximately £12.32 and then you can flip back. Now, below this, you have the order type. As we are buying by a card, you can only do a one time buy. But if you were buying by cash that you have deposited on your account, which if I was to flip this over to cash here, then you can do a recurring buy. But for now, I'm going to pay with a card. It's worth noting that not all banks like crypto exchanges. So there's a very real possibility you may not be able to transfer or buy crypto from your bank, but you can try and find out. So once you're happy with everything here, you can hit review and then you can see here all the details like how much crypto you will get and the fees involved with this transaction. It's worth noting there will also be a spread fee included in this, but that will happen at any exchange. And a spread fee is the equivalent of what you get when you go to buy foreign currency, where there is a buy price and a sell price. And the actual price is somewhere in the middle. And the difference is what the exchange profits. So once you're happy with this, you can press confirm. So there you can see I've bought £10 and I now own 0.0008 BTC. So you can press done on that. This will now appear in your wallet on your home screen. So now you can see that I've got £17.63 in crypto and a total balance on my account of £27.63. Now, the other way to buy crypto is with money you already have on your account. So now I will show you how to deposit money on Kraken. So you can do this by pressing the deposit button on the home screen here. Once you're on this screen, if you click this drop down here, you can either pick a fiat currency or cryptocurrency. And as the list is massive, it's probably easier just using the search box. But I'll come on to depositing crypto in a bit. But for example, if I wanted to deposit pounds, I would just pick pounds sterling here. Then I put in a deposit amount, say 10 pounds. And then you have different methods of how you can deposit this cash. And it's worth bearing in mind there are different methods for different currencies which have differing fees. So, for example, with this one, there is a three pounds deposit fee. But if, for example, I was to flip over to say euros and I was to put in 10 euros and pick SEPA, there is no deposit fee. 
So if you've got a multi-currency card, then it may be worth having a play around with these. So I'm not gonna go through every single currency and payment method here as we would be here all day, but you can just follow the instructions for each specific method. Now, once you've got money on your account, you can buy crypto using your cash balance instead, which is exactly the same as before, but instead you just pick a GBP balance here. So now if you want to transfer crypto onto Kraken, say for example, I wanted to transfer Bitcoin, then you would pick the crypto you want to deposit from this list, and then you would choose which network you want this to go over. I'm not going to go into networks in depth here as every crypto is different, but basically different networks have different fees and speeds for processing transactions, but are off chain where transfers are done on a new network. So it's worth looking into the specific networks offered for the crypto you are purchasing. So I'm just gonna pick the Bitcoin network. And once you've picked that, you would then copy your deposit address here, or you can scan this QR code to the other exchange or wallet you are sending your crypto from. So now moving on, if you have crypto on your account, you may decide that you want a different one. So to convert this, you don't need to go back to fiat currency. Instead, you can press on the buy crypto button at the top again, and you can go to convert here. Or alternatively, you can press convert on the home screen. And from here, you pick which crypto you want to transfer from and which crypto you want to transfer to. So then you can key the amount on either the top or the bottom or click the link for the total amount you hold or alternatively click one of the percentage values below. So now you can see that I'm gonna convert 0.00008 Bitcoin into 0.01295 Ethereum. So once you're happy, you can click review and you can see what you will receive and any fees involved with this. Inversely, selling crypto and withdrawing are just as simple, which I will show you now. So say you want to cash out some of your crypto to cash, but keep the cash on the Kraken platform, then this can be done by pressing the sell button here on the home page, or confusingly press the buy crypto button again at the top and then pressing sell. Here, you can again key a fiat amount of crypto or pick a percentage of what you hold and pressing review will show you how much cash you will get and any fees involved. So then just press confirm for that to proceed. Alternatively, you can withdraw cash or crypto from Kraken. This is where you want to take your crypto or cash off of the exchange. So starting with crypto, you click on the button on the homepage and this is basically the inverse of depositing crypto. So this dropdown contains both fiat and cryptos like it did before. So for example, I'll pick Bitcoin, which is just how it so happens to be selected here. The next dropdown contains the network again, and then the next dropdown contains any withdrawal addresses. So you can either add a new wallet address or choose one that you have. If it's a new wallet address, you will then need to confirm this over email to verify someone else hasn't accessed your account and is potentially trying to empty it. So once that's verified, you would then key your withdrawal amount. So I'm gonna say 25% here, and you can see the minimum of withdrawal and any withdrawal fees down here. And if you press withdraw, it will send it to that other address. Alternatively, if you have cash on your account, which I do, you could pick that from the drop down instead. So then you would select your withdrawal method and then add your bank details if they're not already on the platform. And then you would just go through with that here. Other quick features you may want to know about. The transactions on the left shows a history of all the transactions that have gone across your account. In addition to this, you can see any scheduled transactions that you have set up, but I don't have any, so my list here is empty. Also, if you're new to Kraken or any crypto exchange, I would recommend setting up multi-factor authentication, which is another level of security, which you can do by going up here to security and setting this up here with an authenticator app. Also, if you suspect someone has access to your account, then you can also see any devices currently connected to your account and their IP and their location and disconnect any suspicious ones. Anyway, if you got this far, I want to thank you so, so much for watching. Also, if you have just set up a Kraken account, you may now be wondering how you can buy crypto on the Kraken app. So make sure you watch this video next. It's been Ollie from Get Geek Finance. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.